Hey friends, welcome back to Blind Awakening Art. I'm Rhonda. So we're going to do something super fun today. Um, as you see, I have a coffee cup in the center of a 9 by 12 canvas. And I've got that coffee cup sitting on a solo cup. And the purpose for that is just to be able to give me a space to be able to pick this up when I'm done. So sometimes um, you may have a container, a vase, a cup, whatever it is you're pouring over, that the mouth of that is almost as big around as your solo cup. You may have to stack a couple of solo cups to get enough of a gap between the canvas and the rim of that, the container to be able to stick your fingers in there and pick it up and move it. Uh, once you're finished and it's finished dripping so um, this is a 9 by 12 canvas I've got it on my spinner table inside my freshly trash bag lined puppy pool <laughs> that looks so hokey y'all but trust me huh, so much easier to just be able to take this black trash bag off of here in a couple of weeks and throw it all away and start all over again than to try to peel paint off the inside of my puppy pool. So, this coffee mug just came out of my kitchen cabinet. It's the only solid color mug that I had. The other ones all had writing on them. And it's like two degrees outside today, so I am not sending my husband to Dollar Tree today to buy plain white coffee mugs. So, this one is a burgundy color. Um, we're using all tropical blues and teals today, but it'll cover. It will be good. Um, so I'm not real worried about it. But across the front here, starting here, um, these are all custom colors, custom teals that I made, just varying shades of teals back here on the back side, um, starting here. This is Peacock Metallic Pearl. I love that color. And then we just have Titanium White, Deco Art 24 Karat Gold. And over here is another custom color that I actually named Caribbean Abyss. It's just a super dark um, teal blue color, just super pretty. Um, so we're going to go with these colors today. These are in little two ounce containers, and I'm gonna pour each color one at a time today. You can also layer your colors in a cup, like you're doing a ring pour or a stripe pour, and you can do it that way. Um, but I am gonna go with the individual colors today as we pour. So, um, the only thing I'm doing to prep this coffee cup, I want to make sure there's no kind of oils or anything on there. I'm going to put my gloves on and I am going to wipe this down really good with 92% isopropyl alcohol before we get started. Um, and then we're going to get going here and we'll see what happens. So, I'll be right back. Okay, so we are just going to start. I've just got a paper towel that I have spritzed down with 92% isopropyl alcohol. And I am just going to wipe this cup down really good with that isopropyl alcohol. I've got my gloves on so that I don't get oil from my skin on here. This is oh, some potent stuff, y'all. Potent, potent, potent stuff. I keep it in a spray bottle. Um, and so, okay, there we go. Now, I'm going to try to put this back as close to the center as I can. I've tried to center my canvas on my spinner too in case I do decide to spin the canvas and I don't know um, I think that's about as close to center as I can get it okay so 
We are gonna start, I'm gonna do this one color at a time. I am actually going to start with, I think, just a light, and I don't, and I just have this in a big container. Um, I think I'm gonna start with just a light coat of white. Not much. I just wanna, I just wanna kind of be sure that I get this covered. This bird, whoops, right off the canvas, y'all, because I can't see white against white. I just want to make sure that I get this burgundy all covered. So I'm going to do that. And I think I am going to, I'm just going to scoop this off because it sits here kind of in a pile in the center of the bottom of the cup. So I'm just gonna try to schmooze this around a little bit all over the cup just to give it a nice white base. I think I'm gonna be able to cover all the burgundy, but you know, I don't know for sure. So, but like I said, it was it's just too cold and icky outside for me to send my husband out to the dollar store for uh, plain white coffee mugs. So we just took this one straight out of the cabinet. Okay. That should be good, I think. And, and it's okay if I've got this, you know, on my canvas anyway. Just a little extra paint on the canvas to help things flow never hurts. Um, although, I have plenty of paint here. I don't think we're going to have any issues with the paint flowing across this canvas. But I'm just going to spread this out a little bit just in case. I don't want a big glob of white on my canvas right there. Okay, so let me get my hands wiped off here. And I think we're going to start with the Peacock Metallic Pearl. I'm going to have to do this a couple of times. So, all right. So here we go. I'm just going to do it right on the edge. I can. I can't really see the edge. <laughs> Down the handle. Let me just spin this canvas as I do this. Okay. Now, um, I've kind of laid these out in order, so now I'm going to go back with white again. This is my white in my little two ounce cup. Okay. And here's my deco art, 24 karat gold. This is really hard for me to see what I'm doing. Okay, now we're going to do this dark um, Caribbean abyss, is what I'm calling this color. All right. <clears throat> 
<clears throat> the good thing about putting this on a spinner um, is you can see this way if you're getting um, all the sides covered. If you're just pouring from one side, it's kind of hard to know if you're really getting an even pour all the way around your cup, your container, whatever, your vase, whatever it is that you're working on. Okay, that was kind of a, you know, a, a little bit darker shade of teal. I'm going to come in here with this. This is almost like a I don't know, lime sorbet or something. I don't even know what to call this. It's just a very pale shade of green that I made. I don't know where I started. Okay, and this one is just kind of a medium teal. This one is a little more greenish. See, I'm not pouring so much in the center because I don't want to get a big glob of that in the center. Um, now, you know, it's kind of looking like um, like I've got more of whatever the last color is. So I'm going to come back this time. Okay, we're going to do it again. But I'm going to do a lighter, like a thinner stream now that I've got a lot of coverage on there. I'm going to come back with a thinner stream of paint. That was my metallic, or my peacock metallic pearl. Come back with my white, do a much lighter drizzle so that the white doesn't completely cover the other colors up. Here's my Deco Art Gold, 24 karat gold. Put that on that handle. Look how cool that pattern is, you guys, on the canvas itself. That's going to be, um, that's going to be a cool design. Here's that darker. Shade. And this is fun. This is, this is a fun technique to do. And you end up with two cool pieces of art, you know? You can do this on anything. You know, if you've got a vase, if you've got a glass, a wine glass, um, coffee mugs, planters. I've done it on a lot of different different pieces before, so, okay, here is my last color, and let me just, I need to take a look at this with my magnifying glass. 
so I can make sure that I have all that burgundy original color covered and then I might decide to put some other colors on here so let me grab my magnifying glass and I'll be right back Hang on guys, I'm searching for it. Oh, and I found it. I left it in my sweater pocket. Okay, let's see. I still see a little bit of burgundy. A couple of spots. I'm just gonna touch that right there. I'm not doing a very good job touching it right there. I think I need some more paint. So I would suggest, if you can, use a white coffee cup. It's okay. I mean, um, I'm not done yet, so... <laughs> We're not done yet. Okay. Let's, let's come back with a little bit of this dark again. finger on top of here and push some of this over the side. Because otherwise I'm going to have a big glob of paint on top. I don't want to muddy it up too much, though. I'm going to come back with my peacock. Because I love this peacock. carried away with the gold there. Okay, let's see. Okay, now I am going to... Mm. Yeah, I got carried away with the gold, y'all guys. Okay, so I'm going to come back with a little bit of this, whatever this color is. <laughs> It doesn't have a name. It's just one I made. Push some more over the edges. And then I'm going to, underneath of this handle, um, there was a a spot under there that really didn't get covered. So now 
Yeah, now I think it did. Okay. But, but, I'm still, I'm still not happy, totally happy. So, I'm going to put this just right here. And then, uh, I'm going to put a little bit of white right there. Okay, and I'm going to put a little bit of peacock right there, if there's any peacock left, maybe not, I'll try to scrape it out of here, put this little bit of peacock on there, okay, and now I'm going to push that over the edge. Okay, now we have to let this sit. and drip and I'm going to give it probably five or ten minutes to sit and drip okay um, and then we'll pick it up and we'll see the super cool pattern that it made on our canvas so, super pretty. I really, really like the way that this one turned out. I'm so excited. Okay, this has been sitting here for, I don't know, five or six minutes. I think it's done dripping. Um, now, we are going to very carefully pick this up by the Solo Cup and I'm just going to move it over to my drying table. I actually uh, have a paper plate I'm going to sit it on top of because chances are there's still going to be a few drips. But So we're going to pick this up very carefully and watch how the center, there will be a white space, but watch how that starts to fill in. So I'm going to go from this angle. Try not to touch the cup itself or the canvas and try to pull it, whoops, I just touched the canvas, try to pull it straight up and move it over here to my drawing table. Okay, see, look at that center fill in, you guys. We have plenty of paint on this canvas. <laughs> plenty of paint. We're going to wait until that fills in all the way. Which we're just about there. Isn't that cool? Okay, so we have a really cool kind of flowy pattern, but I'm just going to do a little extra. Uh, let me find my skewer. Okay, so I just have a regular um, skewer, well, a wooden skewer that you use for, you know, shish kebabs or whatever. <laughs> and I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some little designs in this. Let's see where I want to do that at. I don't really want to mess with that center because it's pretty cool looking as it is. So I'm just gonna. 
And I'm just gonna do some other little swirls here. See what that looks like. Wipe my skewer off. That looks pretty cool, if I do say so. Try to pull a little bit more of this gold up out of here. Move it around just a little bit. Okay, now we can tilt this, we could tilt, or we can spin. I prefer to spin rather than tilt, and let me get this a little more evenly on my spinner table. Okay, and I don't have any... This is going to be kind of scary because I don't have this uh, like suctioned down to my it's going to just move, move, move. So let me just grab <laughs> let me just grab a finger full of paint here. I'm just going to put a finger full of paint down. I'm gonna lift this up a little bit, kind of get that underneath of there. It's gonna kind of create a suction that's gonna help hold my canvas on the spinner table. Let's see if that worked. I don't know. Maybe that down a little bit okay well it didn't really suction it down like I wanted it to but put a little bit more more paint down under there because I really don't want to lose it and uh, I could spin it right off. <laughs> I have done it numerous times, you guys. Numerous times. Okay. Let's see if I can keep it on here. I am loving that cool pattern in the center of this canvas. but we can't leave that much paint on the canvas because it will crack if you leave too much paint. When I tilt, I get a much more distorted look and that's why I prefer to spin because I keep, I keep my pattern um, and it's, it's less distorted. This one is Super cool. I am really, really digging this one, you guys. And I love these colors together. It's just a very, uh, it's a very tropical look with the teals and the blues and the gold. Super pretty. Super, super pretty. Now, a lot of those little swirlies that I did, they're, they're, I've lost them off the canvas because there's so much paint on here. So much paint, but isn't that pretty? I love that pattern. It's really like feathery looking. Um, 
see my canvas is moving. It's moving and grooving. I still need to get some more paint off there though. I'm just scared to spin it too hard. Okay. We might be just about there. You really you, you really don't want your paint moving anymore. <laughs> okay. You see, you see what I did there. We went spinning, we went flying, I got too carried away. Holy cow. But I think we're good. <laughs> Everything can be salvaged, you know. I don't think we did any serious damage. Well, yeah, I got too carried away though. So, uh, my suggestion to you would be, if you have double face tape, put it on the back side of your frame and stick it down to your spinner table. <laughs> that would be uh, strongly suggested for you guys. Usually, honestly, this, um, you know, having some paint underneath of it really usually creates enough suction that I don't end up with canvases flying off the spinner table. But, um, that was not the case today. So, okay, let me, um, let me zoom in on this and give you some, some details. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, what are you doing? Hit that subscribe button. I mean, you know, it's easy. It's simple. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell so you get notified anytime I upload a new video. I so appreciate you guys taking this journey with me. Um, it's It just means so much to me. This art adventure uh, has brought so much joy into my life. I hope it brings joy to your life. I hope you enjoy my videos. If there's anything you want to see me do, please leave me a comment. Let me know what you think of this. Um, I think I'm going to do a workshop here locally um, and we'll do some coffee cups and some canvases and um, it's so much fun when you can get together with a whole group of people and do this together it's it's just a good time you know it's good clean fun and everybody has a laugh um, everybody creates something different and unique because there will never ever be two pieces of fluid art that are going to look exactly the same. Doesn't matter, um, you know, doesn't matter what you do, you're never going to get two that are exactly identical. And that's okay because sometimes the paint does what it wants to do um, and you just have to enjoy the process and let the creativity flow. So, Hang in here with me for just a minute. I'm going to zoom in and show you guys some details. And thank you again so very much. I appreciate you all. And until next time, let's paint a world filled with beauty, inspiration, and hope. See you next time, guys.